What's going on, people? It's a Yao and P podcast. We are back with another episode and video today. Today, we're talking about 10 things you should never feel guilty about. Number one is going to be saying a two letter word, which is no. No holds so much power because no is genuine and it's authentic. You usually say no when it is something you do not want to do. So if you have a power stance where people try to pressure you to do something that you know is not within your value and moral boundaries and you say no with a powerful and and with pose, you know what I'm saying? That actually will shake up the room and you should not feel guilty for standing up and being powerful and or um, brave about your decision. Number two is going to be disagreeing with something that doesn't align with your beliefs. You know what I'm saying? So that could be um, politics, that could be religion, that could be really whatever you have a certain mindset and um, perspective on. Because you think it might be right means it's right. Because it is your opinion. Yes, it is not okay to argue with somebody if, you know, the science and the actual study review says it is false. But ultimately, you should not feel guilty for your opinion and perspective on something because somebody else is trying to um, persuade you to fall into their moralities and boundaries as well as um mindset and values number three is being your true self you should never feel guilty for being you you should never be guilty for being who you are meant to be if you are somebody who um always wants to be a people pleaser and you always change your beliefs and you change the way you move and who you truly are in the root of your core then you should feel guilty but to be open and to speak your truth you should never feel guilty for speaking the truth because it is who you are. And number four is going to be prioritizing your mental health. If you feel like you want to be inside for a Friday night, but your friends are saying, let's go out, let's go out, let's go out. And you want you want to say no, say no. You do not want to go out, so there is no reason why you should go out. Um, number five. Number five is going to be you should never feel guilty for putting yourself and your goals and passions first. If you feel like something will elevate you and help you um, to reach your true potentiality and who you truly are as a person for your purpose and as a entity of yourself, <clears throat> you should not feel guilty if you say no. You should always say no for things that are not in alignment in accordance to what you are trying to accomplish in life. Number six is going to be never feel guilty for um, for always looking towards your future and trying to leave the past behind. That could be friends, relationships, that could even be memories. You know what I'm saying? You have to understand that sometimes things need to be burned, need to be deleted and separated. For elevation requires separation. Number seven, never feel guilty for sticking up for yourself. And that could be um, verbally, that could be um, physically. That can really be um, almost spiritually where sometimes you need to put up boundaries because you understand people have negative energies. And as I spoke about yesterday about high, higher vibrations, the higher your vibration is, people will be um, almost sent to you because there is spiritual warfare. They'll be sent there with low vibrations to actually lower you and put you on an equal playing field with the normal human in society. Stay strong, stay willful, and um, remember... Your place in the world is not to fit in, it is to stand out. It is to be outstanding. So always keep that in mind and keep reaching for higher heights and higher levels. Um, number eight, ever, ever feel guilty for closing doors? So many people pray for signs. They pray for, um, for, for lessons to be brought to the forefront. You ask, God, show me who's really in my corner. And people start doing things that are wishy-washy. And it literally is right there saying, I am not for you and wide bright yellow lights in the billboard and you still are pretty much entertaining it god is there for you he's trying to tell you what you should and should not be doing why are you waiting what are you waiting for these are things you need to ask yourself every single day as Eckhart Tolle says it is not uncommon for people to spend their whole life waiting number 10 never ever feel guilty for cutting off people in relationships if you or your girlfriend are not happy, or you and your boyfriend are not happy, then it might be time to move on. Never feel guilty for putting your mental, spiritual, and physical health before somebody else's um, somebody else's pleasure and somebody else's um, benefit of the doubt. If you feel like something feels off because of your spirit, that is the only doubt you need to go off of. It does not matter what the benefit of the doubt is. Maybe I should go on it because you know they're so happy. But if you're not happy, that is the most important person who should be happy and that you should make it happy is yourself. Why is it that you should be putting things to the side and delaying things that actually must be acted upon that day immediately? There is certain times for you to prolong things, which can be in business and life and things that 
talk about any repetition because repetition is generally what is going to make everything come to the forefront of success. But when it comes to relationships, you need to cut it at the stem and you need to be strong, strengthful, and powerful to know when is enough. With that being said, like, comment, subscribe. I'm on IG at Panther Wisdom and at Panther Fifth Season and at Panther Mentality. Correction. So, comment down below what it is that you want next to be recorded and or um, brought to your, your speakers and your ears. With that being said, we are here. Peace. I love my goddamn self They focused on everyone else You need to believe in yourself Cause you ain't got nobody else I can never be like them I love my goddamn self They focused on everyone else I can never be like them I love my goddamn self They focused on everyone else You need to believe in yourself Cause you ain't got nobody else I can never be like them I love my goddamn self They focused on everyone else Cause you ain't got nobody else I can never be like them I love my goddamn self They focused on everyone else You need to believe in yourself Cause you ain't got nobody else You ain't got nobody else